Google Developer Expert, uh, AdMob from New Delhi, India. AdMob Expert. So that means that I've implemented it, AdMob, and I've been lucky with it that I got uh, fine revenue every day. So th that's why I'm going to discuss with you that why it is important for developers. You know, uh, I can find a number of Android developers. How many are there Android people here? Uh, so quite a, uh, I mean, five to ten people are around, and uh, you know, you need uh, you need money to work. You implement a lot of hard work in your apps. It's not easy. Not everyone can do that. We can see that. So in Nepal, if there are uh, for example, one percent people are working on Android. They need serious money so that they can continue with it. I just met a few few guys, and they were telling me that, oh man, the uh, the internet is very costly here. And uh, you need, uh, you know, when you start a business, you need uh, more profits from the starting, so that you can pay the pay the bills, pay everything, pay for the graphics, pay for the animation part, and uh, etc. etc. So. That's the thing, that's why I'm here. I'm gonna discuss, uh, firstly, this will be the overview part, and uh, I'm gonna sh uh, share, also share the best practices for this purpose. So let's just begin. Uh, for those who haven't heard, it's a monetization platform for developers, uh, Android, iOS, and Windows. Everyone can use the ads and implement it to their apps, and we have basically uh, different banners, and uh, we have interstitials, uh, we don't, I mean, uh, Google has uh, everything and they offer this for free. I mean, you can join uh, and Bob as a user. You don't need a verification just like AdSense. So you just go there, uh, uh, you know, add your publisher ID, uh, implement the SDK and you are up. So, so I'm going to show a representation of, a graphical representation of this. Uh, you are, you, I mean, you are the publishers uh, and advertisers can be among you only. So, uh, firstly, this ecosystem works is that advertiser give their ads to Google, and then they, they, you know, they have this very good algorithms where where it comes up to you according to your app. For example, if I have a car app or a game app or a racing game app, so the the ad would come of a other gaming app which you like. You know, it, it's 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 kind of a recommended thing for you. So uh, it's kind of a re recommended thing for the user. And it's very much you know, optimized for uh, for you know having good revenues out of it. So when the when the user clicks on it, and uh, you get paid for that. And th that is the thing. That is the basic thing of AdMob. So uh, and uh, from the pre previous year, uh, you know AdMob is a mobile thing. So from the previous year, when Ad AdWords got implemented and including to this AdMob. Uh, it has got uh, millions of advertisers available for you. So it's a huge inventory. You get 99.9% .9 of fill rate. There is no missing of your work. Uh, how can you do that? You know, once you are up with the SDK and uh, you, are, you have released your app, the first site uh, on the left shows that uh, user has it in its app launcher. He clicks on that and he opens your app. He sees the ad at the top or the bottom thing. Then he clicks on it. Uh, after, uh, so uh, this thing is that uh, you get paid for cost per click, you, do, you don't get paid for cost per impression. I mean, most of you know these things. Uh, I can explain it. That, that thing there shows the impression part. So request is made when the user opens it and if he has a valid internet connection, it shows an impression. After the impression get, gets, gets clicked, you, you get paid. Uh, paying is an, an, an average, for me, it has been really good, uh, 5 cents per click. It's like great uh, for me. I think it's for you also. So that's in my personal experience. Uh, this is just an example. You know, uh, don't make it as an ideal experience. Uh, this is just how to calculate the things and make you more aware of the different terms used in advertisements. One lakh twenty thousand is the ad request made. This is the times uh, the internet has called for an ad, and it's not that uh, the ad has been displayed. But the impressions means that the ad has been displayed one lakh times. So out of one lakh twenty thousand, one lakh uh, impressions have been made, and uh, th that is that is just a generalized point of view. This is not final. So eighty three percent would be the fill rate. One lakh twenty thousand divided by one lakh would be eighty three percent. And uh, 
the thing is I get 99.9% fill rate. I'm going to discuss it further. CTR would be like 1.5. So 1.5%. That means uh, out of 100 uh, impressions, 1.5 have been valid clicks. You know, these are uh, genuine clicks by users who like the ads and they want to just open the ad and get to the download part and get this the another app whose ad is displayed by the advertising system. So, uh, CPC is uh, is what uh, you get and uh, and you know clicks. These are 15 clicks made out of one lakh impression, so it would be 1.5. I should I said it before and CPC would be what I said before. You know, it's it's what you get for a for a click. You know, so it's uh, 10 cents would be like in my country it would be. It would be the what would be six rupees, and here it would be around ten rupees. So for one click, if you're getting ten rupees, that's awesome. And the total revenue is one fifty dollars. That's that's calculated. The, so point ten into fifteen hundred clicks would give you one fifty dollars for this current app. And uh, uh, now let's move to the ad life cycle. How how these are displayed from a technical point of view. So firstly, uh, when you implement the code and an ad request is made, you know, uh, it, it is made to the server, server of AdMob or Google, and uh, uh, after that, uh, try uh, the SDK tries to fetch an ad. Uh, if if the if the ad is not available, then it goes to fail to receive ad. Because, uh, and now this can happen due to two things, uh, two things happening uh, at the background. That is, there is lack of inventory. There is no ad available at that point of moment or that point of time and uh, the other thing can be uh, the network failure you know network failures a lot happening even in India I face a lot of issues with networks uh, as network is not 100% uh, sure even Wi-Fi is sometimes doesn't give up an ad so uh, no worries it goes into refresh and after refresh what it does it goes again to the ad rip. so the refresh part it, it takes 30 seconds you know oh, that's that's a minimum uh, refresh rate you have set into your console 30 seconds so minimum it would take 30 seconds again to refresh but that's fine uh, at least it's it's trying again and then again the ad request is made uh, if, if the ad is there uh, the user sees the ad and uh, if he finds it relevant uh, that is out of uh, the, the the CTR shows that out of 100 people 1.5 percent of them found it very useful so they clicked on it and uh, uh, they, they went to the they went to the page, uh, the page of ad. So if, if it is a Chrome browser ad, it goes into the Chrome browser. For for example, it's an it's an it's an uh, uh, ad of an app here. Here I can see that call break call break record, and uh, so you see it's ad, and you go to the ad app. Uh, you go to, you click on the ad, and you go to the download page of from the Play Store. So you download it, uh, then then you click the back key, and uh, Android phones have a back key, so the when you go back, the app is still there in a pause state, and from that point of view, the refresh rate is paused and it again goes on completing. And after 30 seconds or the pause time, including that, it refreshes again. So that's that ad life cycle and goes on like that every time the user uses the ads. Let's discuss the banner formats. What are available for you to monetize? Some people are very good, very good having revenue with banner ads. Some some prefer interstitials. Uh, and there is a variety here. So banner ads are basically uh, 320 to 50, like the example we discussed before. That was a banner, uh, 320 to 50 uh, uh, DPI, and uh, it will uh, the ad size constant. The parameter you have to add is uh, the dot banner. It's it's the most basic and the most used. I would guess that uh, this is the like 90 percent of people use banner ads. Uh, then, uh, if your app is uh, very popular on, uh, or your game is very popular on tablets, you can have this uh, uh, leaderboard for 10-inch tablets. Tablets uh, banner, this IAB banner. This is a 468 to 68. It would already always show on a on a 7-inch screen, and uh, the leaderboard would always show on a 10-inch screen. So. Uh, you know, if you try that, that the that the IAV banner shows on a seven-inch display, that's not possible. Sorry, the leaderboard ads on a seven-inch display, that's not possible, uh, because it's it's DPI and it, it checks for the screen uh, width availability. If it is not available, so it doesn't show it. And the M rate is also available. Like on the AdSense, we see the small rectangles available, but this this is a very small. Uh, still, still on a ten-inch screen, it will look very appropriate for some of the apps. Uh, and it, 
put in a small rectangle showing 300 into 250, you can well imagine that it will be very small. So, uh, and, and the fifth option, I would say it's, it's the very most important in my point of view. Smart panels is uh, everything. It includes everything. So, if, if you are not using different layouts for your app, what you can do is you can just add smart banners parameter into the code, and you would get all the all the. If, if for example, this person is using it on a phone, this person is using it on a tablet. So, uh, if you have implemented smart banners, you don't have to include IAB banner or IAB leaderboard in the in the XML part. It, it just displays uh, the appropriate app. So, if it is open into 10 inch tablet, it would show 70, 78 and 90, which would. Uh, which, which obviously it will get you more revenue because that is a big ad and that will, that, that will get you more, uh, more uh, clicks. And, uh, and the banner ad would be appropriate for the phone so it would display accordingly. Yeah, uh, smart banners have also the advantage here. Uh, so uh, smart banners are really smart. You can see that. You know, uh, this Acme Plastic company ad, it's a 320 to 50. Smart banner implemented. The side spaces are left because uh, this resolution is 1280 into 720, and it, it would be uh, showing it complete on a 800 into 480 uh, DIP resolution. So here you can see that Acme Classic Company has an image ad. Though smart banners don't uh, don't show uh, uh, don't stress the image ads because that would make them inappropriate. So that, that is why it is, what it, what it does is. Uh, the advertisers added a uh, text ad for uh, if, if that image ad uh, cannot be stressed and filled inside. So uh, you can uh, if you can see that it will show the guest get the next Acme Blaster app today. So this is an example and where uh, this is same ad, but uh, that 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 image uh, image size cannot be stretched. So that's why it's just showing a text ad, and that is the basic advantage here. You don't you don't get to lose any users. Uh, that is, I mean you don't get to lose any of your uh, app space. Yeah, mediation is very important. How many of you are using ad networks other than AdMob? Have you heard about them? Uh, heard about them? Is there any ad network popular in this area which people use or utilize? Uh, anyways, uh, let's discuss uh, with a very basic example. So here we see a graph. Uh, uh, on the on the uh, vertical line, we can see that ECPM uh, that is uh, the uh, in basic terms, that would be the money you earn per thousand impressions, uh, irrespective of the clicks. It's it's the it's the uh, most important term used here because it generalizes your pay of a, a point of view, and that that it shows there. Uh, and the time and the time. So uh, I can, I would take it as a I I would uh, divide it in three sections. So here you can take as a first month, here you can take as the second month, and it, it, this graph is for three months. Now, firstly, you see that uh, ad network is having very low uh, CPM value. It means that it is paying you very low in the first month. That's very bad. I don't like that. And the yellow network is showing medium, and the blue one is showing uh, like the maximum in that month. But then, what happens in the section, second month is that the red uh, eCPM is high. It means that you are earning more money per thousand impressions in the second. And uh, the blue one got low, and the yellow one got low. Than the red, but it got higher than its previous one. So that's very variable. We don't want this that deviations occur. For example, one month I'm making one fifty dollars, and the other month I get fifty dollars. That's not. That's. I, I won't like that. And for the yellow network, first month I was making thirty dollars, and the, and, the, and the third month I was making one twenty dollars. I, I I I won't like this. So that's why we have mediation for this purpose. Uh, I mean, it's 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 the market. You know, every day it changes. Sometimes advertisers pay more for their for their product or their service because they, they have just released it now. So that I mean, if, if they are advertising an old product, they would pay less. That's just basic thing. So that's why we have mediation. It creates a railroad-like thing. So uh, you know, it will give you the highest for every month from the three from out of the three. It will give you the highest and the maximum money which we, which you can make every month. I would be making. Higher and equal. So it, it works like a like an example given here. You can read it's a railroad switch. What what the what the function of a railroad switch is that it, it won't allow any other train to the tunnel if it faces the maximum. If it so the driver is paying the tunnel guy 
for example, the railroad switches a tunnel guy and he takes a, a money for allowing the trains to go through the tunnel. If, if the red train pays more, then it allows the red train. If, if the yellow one pays more, then it only it allows the red, uh, yellow train, but it doesn't allow red and blue. So that is the thing. Uh, he, he, the tunnel guy is here and he takes money. Uh, the most amount of money, whoever is giving, it only allows those to go through. In technical point of view, let's discuss it uh, very briefly as we don't have a lot of time here. So uh, what it does is, uh, we have the mediation uh, server uh, request made through the Atmob ICP only. We don't have to add another jar file for that purpose. It is, uh, it is function, the functioning happens through the Atmob ICP only. And then, uh, it, uh, you know, uh, the order. So how many of you have heard about mediation? I was talking about other networks. Have you, anyone uh, using Atmob has seen mediation uh, UI? None of you. Let's, uh, I, I'm going to show you later. That's fine. So, so the order is what you set up in the railroad. So, firstly, you 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 have set up that for India, I want the maximum eCPM from this this uh, red that red ad network we have seen, and for uh, Australia, I want that yellow network should show first. So that that is that is the order which we have set in the UI. And those who have used that one, maybe they have seen it. And they don't know. They don't remember it. Again, it goes into the SDK where, where it, uh, you know, after giving the order, it gives with the SDK again. And what the function of the SDK is to uh, check that what what order you have selected. So firstly, if you have selected uh, the red ad network for India, so it, 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 it opens the adapter. Now, adapter acts as a translator between the ad hoc SDK and the third party SDK, like. Uh, I can give you an example like Leadbolt or Startup or Inmobi, which provide banner ads. So the, the, the parameters should be same, that is the format should be same. And uh, it actually translated, it. it needs to be included, but it is a very small file. You know, it's a library and it's like one to two KB provided by the provided by the third party network. SDK is also provided by the third party network. So uh, what adapter does is, it makes a contact between the SDK and the uh, and the third party SDK, which is here in the blue color. Uh, so um, then, then uh, if if the ad is available, and again now the, this SDK will again have its own life cycle, which we we had a discussion before. So if if there is an ad, okay, it will show an ad, and if there is not, what what it will go back to that uh, SDK part, and uh, it will uh, go into the adapter two or adapter two. Or, or the adapter you have, uh, you know, or the network which is having a higher ECPM as compared to the other one. So the blue one already had a higher ECPM set by you, but the, but the green and, uh, you know, there will be a contest between the green and the red one, who will be having the maximum. So it will be going to that. Then then it goes uh, to the second adapter here, and uh, it is a translator. Now, you can see that uh, the green color, uh, you know, green color. So uh, this adapter is only for Admo only. So it won't need a, another lib file. It, it, it's the same SDK part. So that's why uh, we have made it in the green color so that you can understand it better. Now what, what it does is, uh, if, if it shows that, that's okay. And uh, if it doesn't, uh, then let, let's, let's leave it and go to the third adapter. Uh, then, if, if, then the third adapter is showing us ad. Uh, so, so it shows into the ad view where you have made the request in your app. Similarly, we have this uh, uh, custom events and house app. They just work similar to the, uh, to the mediation. And uh, the thing is that, OK, custom event uh, code you have to write in your app. You know, you cannot uh, get it at a lib file for that. Because uh, you add custom events for those ad networks which, which are not officially partnering with Admo for, for the purpose of mediation. So uh, for example, I had this ad network, uh, ad network C. If it was not available in the mediation console for that purpose, so, so I added a custom event code and then then you know implemented it. Uh, it's, I made it translator myself. It's a small code. It's available on the uh, on the docs uh, we have on Admob uh, or SDK forums. So so then then it contacts this uh, which uh, third party SDK which we have included, and um, then it fetches the ad according to the settings you have in the console. Also, uh, that need to be added in the UI, which which I will show you the screenshot later. So uh, house ads also are similar to these. Can anyone uh, tell me what are house ads? Okay, 
find uh, how sets are which which ads you make for your for for your work other than this app. So for example, if I have app one and I want to show the ads of app two in my app one, both are both of my uh, both are both are mine apps and. I want to show the ad of two in one. So th that is my my ads and house ads means I have this uh, app house and I want to show the ads. And that is why house ads are used. And then it contacts the SDK. It's, it's the part of Atmov SDK. And you can see the color here. So you don't need to have any other code. You know the color shows that you have to add other code for this. So but the green color shows that only one uh, one library will work for that. And it fetches the house ads. It shows onto your app. After the refresh rate, it quite gets back to the variation and it start again. Uh, TFP is like very, uh, I mean, it shows people who are a lot into this marketing stuff. So I'm gonna just, just give a very, very short uh, introduction of it. I it is not useful here. So double click for publisher is not, it's not a mediation thing. Let's not uh, confuse it with mediation. Uh, what it is is uh, you have a DFP console. First of all, you need a AdSense account for this, AdSense verified account for this. Then the uh, then you can contact the advertiser for an ad. You know, uh, you can go to the console of DFP and you can say that I want Angry Bird ads in my app. Uh, that is a verification part has already been done. So you can just contact them and they will just uh, give you a reply that okay, fine. You you have one million users. You just take our ads and show it in your app, and then. I can just control everything I have with me. So now we have this, uh, uh, you know, you can have your own creatives in that. Creatives uh, is a very uh, difficult word to communicate, but that would be a banner format which we had a discussion. So you can create your own size in this. It's very customizable. Uh, then, then uh, you know, uh, but the ad unit ID is not the same as you have it in the ad mob uh, console. It's, it's, it's taken from the UI of DFP only. Cool DFP features, uh, multiple ad sizes means you can create your own ads. All the advertiser uh, knows, uh, sees your app and it gives you ad format that this is the space left in your app. Okay, just monetize it here. Or, or, or you know, you know uh, in the pause activity, your user likes to restart your app. So, uh, you know, they will be seeing it more. So, let's just uh, do it with the pause, pause button. And th that is the cool thing. Okay, so uh, 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 six guys uh, I saw raising their hand. They have already been using Admo. You were there. Who was there? Who raised their hand? Okay, uh, sir, uh, you, you have been using Admo, and you are showing the old UI. Do you see the upgrade button still available? But you have an idea that an upgrade is in the process. You got some mails that we are. Uh, okay, uh, maybe uh, you missed out the mail. So they are up with the new UI. And it's it's pretty much very uh, soonly coming to Nepal. That is in the end of September, October. It will be there, and it's just uh, a very good view uh, to do your work. I, I'm gonna see, show you that how it is more manageable than before. So this is what you. Uh, this is what it's still here, and this is gonna change soon, very soon. So the thing is that uh, uh, you see it here. But you will, you will say what's new. So let's, let's go to the next slide. What's new? Here, uh, it's very similar to the uh, to the uh, AdSense account. If if any of you have used an AdSense, so the thing is that have anyone used AdSense? Okay, so it's very similar to AdSense, and the payments are also made through AdSense only. And the thing is that it's it's better uh, this way. What you can see that uh, previously what what thing and the basic drawback which I faced was that okay so I am seeing the reportings here but it's just for what I am as a publisher but if I'm an if I'm an advertiser and I I just want to control everything from the same page uh, now they have added it so for the publisher. Uh, on the left side, you can see half page is for the publisher, then half the is for the advertiser. For the same app, you can publish and advertise and see the reportings uh, on the default page, on the home page. Uh, and, the, and see, uh, the basic reportings are included here, impressions, ECPM, fill rates, and the estimated earnings. And the others, you can go into the monetize section, just click on the performance report, 
and uh, see everything else. Uh, let's come to the advantage. Uh, I mean the disadvantage in the old console. Uh, you have to use a uh, different identity ID for application, for mediation, and for the ECPM flow. Have any? Have you heard about ECPM flow? Uh, maybe not. Uh, it's it's a new feature, so I'm sure nobody has heard about it. And uh, you know, ECPM flow. What it does is, uh, it's just like mediation, but it's a uh, like. Okay, I will surely give an ad. If you set an ECPM, and it will surely give you an ad. For example, I set up one dollar ECPM, one dollar I will earn out uh, per hundred uh, per one thousand impressions, irrespective of the clicks. Uh, it will surely show you ads, but the fill rate would suffer. So, uh, for example, if I set two dollars and it will give just five percent fill rates, uh, still uh, in mediation you can have so backfill with uh, the the normal the normal network. And with the house ads as well, or the other in Mobi or Tap it, as you can see in the example. These are the other net networks available in mediation as a partner. Okay, so uh, so in the new UI, you have this ad unit ID. As, uh, if you if your it is visible, the CA app of uh, long number here. It's the it's the uh, complete uh, ad unit ID, and it will be useful for everything. It it can make more uh, things more dynamic. You know, so uh, for mediation, every time you had to change the ID in your code, and that's not right. I want to add mediation still. If I if, if I don't want to update my app, but add mediation because the if you are going to update your app every time in a in a couple of days or in a couple of months or without a few major improvements, then users won't update it and it will suffer with in the search results. That is why uh, they have found a common ad unit ID. They have this here. So this this ad unit ID. Same uh, ID ID here. Uh, from this new ad network, you can add CPM flow. You can add any mediation partnered website or a custom event or a new house ad house ad campaign if you want to add. And here, here you can uh, just set it. You know. So uh, going into more deeper thing, how you can uh, how you can manage a single ID unit ID. Sorry. So here we have edit. I, I'm going to discuss that in the next presentation more briefly. Uh, so previously, what we saw is these were the categories available for uh, for the users. These are just a bunch of categories, uh, and all apps were having separate settings for uh, each. I mean, separate settings for setting each category. So these these categories are the type of ads which will be shown to the user. I, I won't show the age appropriate ads at their 18 plus. Then image ads I want to show. But this was not, uh, you know, more more uh, useful. So what they added is they added uh, a lot of categories. Now this looks the same number, but what we see is if you if you, if you emphasize more on uh, uh, this beauty and personal care, there will be there are twelve more subcategories inside. So uh, when you get into the categories, uh, you see that. Uh, there are uh, sub sub categories inside uh, uh, in, inside cooking. So I took I took from the hobbies and leisure, which was showing me uh, 20 sub categories. These are 10, and inside these 10, there are 10 more categories, of more than 10 categories available for you to select which type of ads you want to show. So that is the that, that is the improvement we have in the past few months, and I'm sure this will help you a lot. Uh, so it, it is according to the what you want to show to the user as ads. And and these 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 are uh, you know uh, made so that uh, all the all the apps will have the same settings for this. Uh, you know you you don't need to uh, set uh, every app with the subcategory. Then your publisher ID would suffer and it won't be effective. So that's why they made it uh, made it that uh, every uh, every publisher ID that is all the apps will have the same same settings. And uh, where you can get the different resources, it's just a page. You can uh, search in the search in the Google search with as you can download if you want to get the info basically on the development docs or the forums. Google Plus page, blog, code, code example this is a really important thing. So uh, this is my final slide and I'm over with this presentation. But I if if anyone has questions to ask, uh, I have still time left. So complete parts. How about the same in the ad mob? 
Yeah, and five hundred dollars, they deducted fifty dollars because they knew that this, these are in ten clicks. So here, it's very easy to uh, uh, know that if, if this, is, this is genuine click. For example, if I am uh, giving my own ad, you know, in, in from the as a advertiser, I'm giving an ad of my app. For example, it's it's a classic class schedule. It's an app of mine in the Play Store. And if the user goes to the Play Store page by clicking the ad, and if there is no no install of the class schedule, so and that that is not good. So so it, it, the Google can tell that okay there is a no install, so this is not a genuine click. So that 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 is a way here, you know, uh, where you can know that uh, it's a genuine click or a or a bad click. Yeah, anyone else? Having the issue.